Toynbee Idea and Kubrick's 2001 Resurrect Dead on Planet Jupiter. Those are the words on mysterious tiles or plaques in the middle of the street that started to appear in Philadelphia and other places starting around 1980s. These tiles started to appear all over the city and eventually outside of the city, going as far as South America. Some are as small as index cards, some have fairly elaborate artwork. The message on the tiles mostly sticks to the central Toynbee idea message, but sometimes complains about journalists. In more recent years, many of the newer and better shaped tiles have almost certainly been laid down by copycats. Some of the tiles found even recommended this copying and gave instructions how to make them. The earlier tiles usually just had letters cut out of linoleum. Later, more elaborate images started to appear, likely by someone with a little more artistic expression than the original tiler. The House of Hades tiles comes to mind. Hundreds have since been paved over or destroyed. Most of the Toynbee tiles ever made only exist now as photographs. The statements are cryptic and to date haven't been definitively explained. Toynbee could be a reference to Arnold Toynbee who wrote a book called Experiences which talks about the idea of a Christian soul being able to be resurrected. It also could be a reference to Ray Bradbury's Toynbee Convector, an idea that humanity has to survive which may be possible if Jupiter was colonized. Kubrick's 2001 is obviously a reference to the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey in which humanity is guided through evolution by an alien species from the Jupiter's moon Europa, to which the astronaut Dave Bowman eventually travels and becomes reborn as a star child. The act of placing these tiles in streets can be seen as a form of culture jamming, forcing bystanders to observe and read your messages, whether political or philosophical, often using guerrilla marketing tactics to get your voice heard. The alleged Tyler called into talk shows such as Larry King and wrote to editors of newspapers to try to get his ideas spread about reconstituting life on Jupiter and humanity's survival as stated in the Toynbee ideas to eventually colonize Jupiter. A man named James Marasco had called talk shows in 1983 and wrote to the Philadelphia Inquirer about these ideas and formed a group called Minority Association with the intention of raising awareness to the Jupiter colony idea. In 2003, a Kansas City Star editor, after having found a Toynbee tile in Kansas City, attempted to contact Mr. Marasco in Philadelphia but was told by Marasco's wife that her husband had died aged 88 that year and didn't know anything about the tiles. Action News had spoken to the widow of a carpenter named James Joseph Marasco, who also had died that year, age 87. But the widow didn't recognize the tiles, nor did her husband have any interest in Jupiter. The documentary Resurrect Dead, the mystery of the Toynbee tiles, attempted to solve the mystery. The documentary maker assumes the tiler to be one Severino Sevi Verna, who was alleged to have used the alias James Marasco. All around Verna's residence were small tiles that may have been tests, and even ham radio operators have heard Toynbee ideas broadcast from around that area. Verna also drove a car without a passenger seat that may have had a hole in the floor through which he could have dropped the tiles. Verna never admitted to being a tiler, and new tiles have been seen since 2003, ruling out the two Marascos or at least allowing for one or more copycats. Some of the new tiles were a slightly different font and omitted some words of the original tiles. However, some newer ones are much more similar to the old one. So either the original tiler is still at it, or copycats have gotten better at making the new ones look authentic. To this date, no tiler has claimed credit nor has been positively identified. I find it amazing that if the tiler had tried to spread his ideas on the internet, it would have gotten lost in the static. Even if his message was more coherent, people would have just shrugged it off. But the fact that the tiles were so cryptic and mysterious gave it more of an appeal. There is an allure to a kind of treasure hunt to try to find the physical tiles and also to try to solve the mystery. We are still talking about these Toynbee tiles and the Tyler's original ideas many decades after he first begun. Sadly, many of the original Toynbee tiles are paved over and destroyed. There have been efforts to protect them, but for the most part, the city of Philadelphia and other cities considers them more or less graffiti or vandalism and paves right over them. However, the street department indicated in 2015 that it considers them street art and will attempt to conserve one or two if easy and inexpensive. I don't know if any have been conserved. When I went on a Toynbee treasure hunt in the city of Philadelphia, I followed a Google map that someone had uploaded, and I didn't find almost any. Several images uploaded to the Wikipedia article are many years old. A lot could happen in that amount of time, and the streets could have been paved over several times since. In some cases, I saw what looked like a rectangular hole with grind marks, as if someone had chopped up the tile and stolen it. In other places, there was a lot of asphalt laid over where the tile was supposed to be, and so some tiles have been permanently covered over. I was lucky to find one. It was partially damaged, but I believe that damage probably happened right after it was laid down. Otherwise, it was actually in great shape. It's funny that I had driven over this tile half a dozen times and never knew I was driving over one of these infamous Toynbee tiles. I did find several Toynbee-like tiles in art, made from similar cut linoleum or other material and laid down with tar, with the tires of vehicles pushing it into the road. I found a few robot men and this elaborate mosaic-style tile. I don't know who made these tiles, 
but if you do know, please let me know. I wanted to make a Toynbee tile of my own, so I got some linoleum and black street glue. The way they are made is you basically cut out the message with an X-Acto knife, put the linoleum on paper in reverse, then brush tar all over the back. You can then drop it, tar side down, anywhere you want it to remain. The benefit of putting them in the street is that other cars drive over it, pushing it into the street. Paper dissolves, then you have a message in the street. Obviously, I am discouraging anyone from leaving these anywhere public, as you could be charged with graffiti or vandalism in the case of Chicago. I did my test in my driveway, but never got around to leaving a full Toynbee tile. If I ever make one, it'll certainly be on my own private property. So what were the original Toynbee tiles about? What is the motivation behind the copycat tilers? Is it now simply another form of street art like any other kind of graffiti? What is the allure of these tiles? And if you've tried to find one, are there any out there that you still know of? Will the dead be resurrected on Jupiter? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.